Imagine a modern dog of ancient nobility with the intelligence to master jobs from animal herding to law enforcement and the courage to guard treasure. The athleticism of a show champion and the sensitivity of a therapy companion. The loyalty to protect his home and the heart to love a family. Imagine no more. Give a salute to the Rottweiler. One of the hardest working dogs for more than 2,000 years. And yet, the Rottweiler sometimes gets an unfair rap. Who is this historic dog who has inspired the greatest respect, but whose true self is often misunderstood? The Rottweiler's story begins in ancient Rome. Mastiff-type dogs called drovers are the modern Rottweiler's earliest ancestors. Their dependability, intelligence, rugged work ethic, and strong guarding instincts were valued by Roman armies, who used the dogs to herd livestock, protect supplies at night, and march with the soldiers as the empire expanded. Given the prized functions of those noble Roman dogs, it's no wonder that the modern Rottweiler is in the AKC's working group. Originally, Germany is known to be the homeland of the Rottweiler, but the Rottweiler really dates back to Roman legions when the Roman armies would venture on their excursions into the Alps to not only protect them, but to drive the cattle because they actually had to take their food with them. In 73 AD, Roman armies and their herder dogs settled in a small town known as Rottweil which loosely translates to Red Villa, describing the Romans' tile-roofed homes and baths. The dogs were valued for their hardiness and obedience, and three centuries later, when the Romans were driven out, some of the dogs were left behind and their skills were put to use by the locals. Throughout the Middle Ages, the large, sturdy dogs were called Rottweiler Metzgerhund, or butcher's dogs referring to their jobs as cattle herders and cart pullers of butchered meat. And these dogs guarded money. When they would sell their belongings at the market on the way home, they would take their money and put it on a purse which was a attached to the dog's neck. So marauders or burglars wouldn't dare try to steal the money because dogs were big, massive, protective type animal. ...who lived to work was suddenly out of a job. However, the same qualities that made the breed so invaluable for soldiers and butchers were perfect for a new line of work, law enforcement. There's a story where an off-duty police officer was just walking with his dog, which was a Rottweiler, and there was a brawl going on in a local pub over a very yo lovely young lady of some sailors. The little brawl escalated out into the street. There was the off-duty police officer with his Rottweiler. His Rottweiler immediately evaluated the situation and took out two or three sailors. So the rest of the sailors decided it wasn't worth it to mess with the Rottweiler and everyone left. That began part of their police work. In the early 1900s, the Rottweiler's popularity bounced back as they went into service as police dogs. And during World War I, Rottweilers served on the battlefield as messengers, ambulance rescue dogs, and draft and guard dogs. The demand for the breed spiked, leading, in 1914, to the first Rottweiler club forming in Germany. It's unknown if today's Rottweiler looks different than his Roman ancestor, but you can see the lineage of his ancient breeding with every step he takes. His muscular trot is sure and powerful, as if he were still clad in Roman armor. And his expression reflects the Rottweiler's essence, noble, alert, and self-assured. This is a dog that rises to the occasion. Rottweiler has such a loving look when they look at you. They have such a soft expression. They just want to give to you. The Rottweiler has a double-layered under and outer coat Although Rottweilers living in hot climates can acclimatize and lose their undercoat. The Rottweiler's outer coat is medium length, coarse, dense, and flat, and fairly low maintenance, though they do shed heavily seasonally. Their distinctive colors and patterns make the dogs particularly eye-catching. A black coat with well-defined mahogany or rust-colored markings on the body and face add to the Rottweiler's robust appearance. 
Despite their enormous skills, though, anti-German feeling delayed the popular emergence of the breed in the United States. It is believed that German immigrants brought the first Rottweilers to America in the late 1920s. The Rottweiler was recognized by the AKC in 1931. Rottweilers made their mark quickly, earning an AKC obedience title in 1939 and a confirmation championship in 1948. A Rottweiler is kind of like a utility dog, can do all things from carting to herding. They do dock diving. They're excellent trackers. They're just very, very willing to please, and the training ability is unbelievable. Recognized for their obedience, the breed's popularity began to rise following World War II and reached an all-time high in the mid-1990s. Since then, Rottweilers have consistently been among the top 10 most popular breeds. Yet, a mystery remains. Why has the Rottweiler's reputation sometimes suffered? Why would anyone have fears about this proven co-worker and companion? Several countries placed restrictions on ownership of Rottweilers, and they are entirely banned as pets in Ecuador. While Rottweilers who aren't properly socialized or trained can be overly aggressive, the breed is nothing like its negative reputation. The big screen is partly to blame. Rottweilers have been portrayed as villains in movies and TV shows, starting with the horror film series The Omen in the 1970s. However, such films as Lethal Weapon 3 and TV series like Entourage have been correctives, portraying Rottweilers as noble and trustworthy partners. And perhaps no creative work captures the Rottweilers' kind, ingenious instincts as endearingly as the children's book series that debuted with Good Dog Carl. Readers have bonded to the devoted Rottweiler named Carl like the children he looks after. Babysitting, playing ball, even washing and feeding them while the adults are busy. The first book was so popular, it has bred a litter of more than 20 charming sequels. Good Dog Carl is a much better illustration of the Rottweiler than the Omen. Like Carl's family, scores of notable people have adored Rottweilers. Will Smith, Bruno Mars, Robbie Williams, and Leonardo DiCaprio have all had Rottweilers. The Rottweiler would literally give up their life for their family. Because Rottweilers have an innate desire to please their owners, they benefit greatly from formal training and early socialization as puppies. Rottweilers are happiest when they're given a job to do, and their loyalty and protective instincts make them outstanding companions. Owning a Rottweiler may not be right for the person who is timid or does not have the inclination for training and supervision. You have to be the alpha in your home with the Rottweiler, but they immediately adjust to that and expect that and respect that. And don't be surprised if your proud Rottweiler acts like a lap pup. Rottweilers are leaners known for leaning into their masters as a way of showing affection. It is believed that their leaning originates from the breed's days moving cattle, when they would use their strong bodies to move the cows in the right direction. Yes, they like to lean on you. I think it's an affection thing. They just want to touch you. They want to be close to you. One of the Rottweiler's unique characteristics is their ability to communicate with people. Rottweilers have several types of barks that change in length and pitch depending on the information they are trying to convey, something which is invaluable in their service as guard dogs and in search and rescue work. Their instinct for protection and territoriality has also made them award-winning therapy dogs. In 2012, a Rottweiler named Benny was the first of the breed to win the award for canine excellence in therapy. And in 2015, a Rottweiler named Wind repeated that honor for his work with the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, the Hampton Veterans Hospital, and the Suffolk Humane Society's Barks Reading Program. Rottweilers don't distinguish between service and work. Their instinct tells them it's all important to get done. We all have dogs that have our heart. My first love would be the Rottweiler. They're just so easy to live with. They're so much part of the family. From Roman military duty to protecting modern day families and helping to keep their owners' worlds running smoothly, Rottweilers have shown that there is no task too hard 
no skill too great, and no call to action beyond this special dog's ability. Now, that's the real reputation of this historic breed. Okay, Rottweilers, get to work. <laughs>